Do you feel like most developers nowadays have come to realize that authorization is a big enough problem that you need a robust solution to implement it? Or do you feel like a lot of developers enter with the mindset that authorization is something that just should be handled in-house, it's like a very easy thing, and they underestimate the challenges that will kind of unravel over time? I think the more we talk to customers, we realize that if you have a monolith in our language, that means that you have one database that serves one application. People usually don't feel the pain as much, especially at the beginning, because you, you have very predefined roles. And you have an admin and weaver and editor, and because you only have three roles and maybe three permissions within each of those buckets, it's not that hard to write that in-house, so people don't realize that they're going to encounter pain at some point in that authorization journey. The type of customers that we see that hits that type of authorization pain is usually the companies that are um, microservices. The time that they hit that problem the most is when they want to do list filtering. That's what we call it within also, you may have heard it outside reverse indexing. That's basically when I ask, what are all of the tools or like all of the resources, assets, repositories, Hazal has access to. Because now what you have to do is you have to show maybe 100, 200, 300 million repositories and the relationship that I have to that repository or the type of um, ownership that I have over that repository may be super different. Yeah. Like maybe I'm in the marketing channel and the marketing team can see 200 different files, but maybe I'm also in the engineering channel, so now I can see all these other things, but maybe I'm a contractor, so there's a limit of what they can see. Maybe I can only see things between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So the more you add more roles and the attributes, the context that comes with those roles and resources, then things get a lot more complicated. So the bigger the company is, if they do a microservices architecture, uh, the amount of data that they have to sync, if they want to centralize all of their authorization logic, then they start feeling the pain and then they start saying, oh, maybe we shouldn't build this in-house because now we have X amount of engineers working on this full time to maintain it or even to build it initially. And that is engineering time and energy that we want to use somewhere else to make our product better.